Welcome back everybody to another food review here on Food Central TV. So Arby's has re-released their brown sugar bacon, but this time it's triple thick. And I think they released the brown sugar bacon not last year, but the year before or something like that. I don't know. But all I know is that when I tried it, I thought it was amazing. I loved it. And when I saw when they were re-releasing it, I knew I had to come back and try it again. So it comes in, you can just get the brown sugar bacon, like a BLT sandwich. You can get it with turkey or you can get it with roast beef. I just got the bacon because I didn't want all those other meats messing it up. Um, so just the sandwich by itself was $5.79 and I got charged $0.30 cents for a water. I thought water was free. Not at Arby's though. Not at Arby's. It's hot. It's that time of the year doing reviews in the car are rough. Film for like two minutes and I start sweating. So uh, let's undo the box right there. You know, most of the time they have some pretty good presentation, but it almost looks like this one's smushed. <laughs> the bread was smushed or something. So let's grab it by the diaper. Give you a close up. So let's pop the top open. So we got a brioche bun right there. Some mayonnaise, not too much mayonnaise, which, which you know is always a good thing. I'm glad about not lathered with, lathered with mayonnaise. So you can see the bacon, some triple thick action going on, covering that uh, that tomato and lettuce. And that's it, you know, BLT, lettuce, tomato, and bacon, a little bit of mayonnaise. That's all you need. I didn't need all that meat, <laughs> just, just the bacon. So let's give it a go, the triple thick brown sugar bacon. Mm -hmm. mm. That brown sugar flavor, definitely coming through. Since the, the pieces of bacon are kind of thick, uh, they're definitely not crispy. Kind of gives me that texture of like the, uh, with the pork belly they had a few months ago. That was a good sandwich too, but we'll take a few more bites. I'll just be honest, I always am on these videos, but this sandwich, I don't know. It's just not doing it for me. I loved it when I tried it the first time when it was just regular bacon, the thin, crispy bacon, but this being triple thick, to me the bacon's just a little too chewy. It's too thick, it's not crispy. The flavor from the brown sugar is definitely there, even though I, I will say some of it does seem like it is kind of burnt, so giving a not so pleasant taste in some bites. But I'd say the bread, I do like the bread, giving a little sweetness, some butteriness, and then, then you know, the lettuce is giving a little more crunch in the tomato, and the, you know, the mayonnaise, adding that richness and a little creaminess. But, I don't know. I was excited to try this, and, you know, for the few times that I come to Arby's, I'm kind of disappointed. I don't know. It's just not doing it for me. So on a scale of 1 to 10, I'll give Arby's Triple Thick Brown Sugar Bacon BLT. I'm just going to give this a 6 out of 10. I personally was not a big fan of it. The brown sugar flavor did come through, so I'm glad about that one. The bun was amazing. But what was bad about it, like I said, the bacon, it being triple thick, I didn't like the texture. It was a little tough. It was kind of burnt. I just wish they were thin pieces of bacon like when they first came out. So much better, better texture. But, I mean... They might have been my location that they they may have not been cooked right. They may have been overdone or something like that. But I don't know. That sandwich just it just didn't do it for me. I, I definitely won't come back and try it again. But I may get a sandwich, you know, with that bread because the bread was definitely the best part. So as always, thanks for watching. And if you like this video, make sure to hit that like button. And if you're new here and are not subscribed yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button. But that's it for me. And I'll see you guys next time on my next video. Have a good weekend. Gone around.